A history-making day in the Bay Area is ahead as for the first time in more than a decade, the NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship returns to live TV presented by USA Water Polo. It's a classic matchup. The defending champs, Cal, in their home pool, taking on the USC Trojans. Let's take a look at the path to the final. For USC, they're peaking at the right time. They fended off Princeton, took down crosstown rival UCLA, and now they face the Cal Bears, who just had to get past Pacific after earning a bye with a top overall seed. 1-1 the score here, just about four minutes to play in our first quarter. Trojans extended offense here. They take a look, this time it goes. That's a cross cage connect for Chris Sturdivant. Ooh, big time shot from Sturdivant. That's a bar in, we call that in water polo. Big time shot, watch the replay here. Goes off the post, back into the goal. We're going to talk a lot about power play conversion today, Greg. Anytime you can have success in the power play, in the, in the player advantage situations, you're going to be successful in the pool. Big time conversion for USC to go up 2-1. Yeah. Bears getting to their bench. Jake Stone takes a look. That's Garrett Dunn working along two meters into Papa Nicolau. Rips the backhand. And we're tied at two. There you have it, the big man. We talked about him in pregame. You see it here. They force the ball inside. This is what we call a backhand in water polo. With his back to the basket, whips it around. Watch this positioning here. Gets it off so quick, right under the goalie's arm. What a play from Papa Nikola. I'm not sure he intended to do it, but gave a little hesitation as he brought yes. that ball back, paused for a second, and then ripped it. He has gotten some experience in at two meters. And, John, we hit on him at the top. He's kind of a ticking time bomb. You know yeah. he's going to go off at a certain point and deliver, and he gets his goal early. Only fitting in the biggest game of the year, the reigning player of the year delivers. Papa Nicolau, the last of his goals, the buzzer beater here at the end of the first. Papa Nicolau beats the buzzer. You see this. There ended up being 0.1 seconds left on the clock after it got into the goal. Just got it off. Just got off in time to take the lead for Cal here. We talked about a lot of goals being scored in this game. Seven already in the first quarter, Greg. All right, this is going to be a high-paced, high-offense game. And you win five, their seventh try. I don't think Pomfrey meant to do that on purpose. That's a collision. <laughs> Two heads collided, and it gets excluded. Demarty Ray cashing in. And USC looking to convert on the power play. They do this time. Their second six on five delivery. Watch Demar Draco inside, right? Beats the blocker near side. Another power play conversion from USC. A couple of real strong fakes. Look how steady he is on his legs, Greg. That's how he's able to stay high and shoot the ball. Again, beats near side. Big time conversion for USC. The graduate student from Naples, Italy. He has quickly emerged as one of the top players in the college game. 51 on the year. Coming up on 90 seconds to play, first half. Moulton looking inside. It's Bernatich now. Timer to six. Bernatich rips it. 6-5 Trojans. That's a rare natural goal in the play for USC. Bernatich, plenty of fakes, stays on his legs. Big time goal there for USC. Take the second. Looks like Weinberg actually got his right hand on there. Was hoping his, his field blocker was covering that part of the cage. He had to cover late, gets off his fingertips, into the back of the net for USC. Timer to eight. Trojans with a patient attack here. From the outside with three. That's deflected and in! USC pulls ahead by two. The Bears try and knock it down. It ends up in the back of the net. McGuire, another local product, another product of Moraga, California, Campolinda High School. We watch it again. Gets the deflection off of the field block in. We talked about how difficult that is for the goalkeeper. Watch it again. It goes off of the blocker, opposite direction of the goalkeeper is thinking, and that's what gets the goal in. Two goal lead for USC. And a final thud, a field block to end this first half as USC has taken an 8-6 lead into the break. A strong start for the Trojans. And Jake Earhart got them going, and then they really spread the wealth, getting so much of their roster in the mix to show what they can do. It was 5.30 and change to go in this third quarter. That 5 for 11, not a bad percentage, Greg. You might find games and teams in 1 for 11, 2 for 11 in that situation. To have five goals there is one of the reasons why USC is in the lead. Roberto Valera trying to change things. 
And this is starting to mirror the tempo we saw in the first quarter, where it is back and forth. Who can deliver the latest goal? This time it's Valera. Look at that replay from Valera. As you get a good angle here, he goes one fake, two fake, across his body into that low corner. Just again, a high level shot there from the Spanish shooter. Valera getting it done here for Cal. This is the pace we talked about. You thought the game would slow down in the second half, just maybe. Nope, both these teams want to keep going, push the tempo, push pace. And now the Trojans trying for a three goal lead. They got it. They put it to the far post and slam it home once again. It's Max Miller one more time. Max Miller, have yourself a game. Check out the replay here. Carson Krentz inside that pass, the one to the three post, across the cage, slams it home, drawing exclusions, scoring goals. Max Miller doing it all right now for USC. Beautiful pass there from Krantz, and USC continues to convert in the player advantage situations here in the second half. And that's how this third quarter ends with the hustle from USC as they have built an 11-8 advantage. Max Miller, Mad Max, making it happen on the post. The Trojans are up three, fourth quarter on the way. Power play for the Bears. Ponferrada now. Novakian and Papa Nikolaou threatening on the inside. One time, once more! Dearly to Papa Nikolaou. They do it again. It's a one goal game. Huge conversion for the Cal Bears. They do it. Off the timeout, they draw the exclusion. Avakian draws it. Another dealing to Papa Nikolaou combo. Look at that, the double fist pump. Again, two posts. Such good hands, such good legs. Still has the endurance to make it happen here in the fourth quarter. And a big time exclusion drawn there against USC. Looks like it's that third on Earhart. It's going to be a big fourth quarter here left to play. And it is an illegal substitution call against Stemmler in the four cap. And yep. that is a pivotal call. It's a six on five back for the Bears. And now a chance once again to tie this game. Ponferrada takes a look. A few fakes. He gets it back. Looks to Valera. Not there. Ponferrada. That's deflected. The follow is tipped in. Who else but Papa Nicolau? Ooh, big play there. Crashing the boards. Papa Nicolau. Look at that. Cleaning up the garbage in front of the goal. And that call, that play, that mistake on USC side is going to pay a difference here. There's the block. And there's Papa Nicolau crashing the boards. Offensive rebound. Goal for Papa Nicolau. And this game is tied in the fourth quarter. Papa Nicolau with seven goals. Never stops working and finds his way to the cage once more. We're even at 12. The Bears have erased a four goal deficit with under 90 seconds to play. Al has a 30 second left. Molfin on the power play here. The Trojans go to work. Save Weinberg. A fight for the rebound controlled by Ponferrada. It's back to Weinberg here. We're under a minute to play. Valera is leaking out. A two-on-one developing. Valera moving in, checks the mirrors, and hits. Cal has scored five in a row to go in front 13-12. What a two-goal swing off the timeout from USC. That is a huge play. Watch the block from Weinberg. Then he gets the lead assist to Valera. Takes no time, moves across the goal and puts it away. Double fist pump, young man, you earned it. What a comeback. The Cal Bears trailed by four in the fourth quarter. And they have roared all the way back. Up one now, 41 seconds left. USC, of course, still with a chance here to try and tie this game. Papa Nicolau with a grip on that ball, an exclusion, and that will put a bow on this one. Papa Nicolau taps it up, and he has taken home the title for the Cal Bears. And pandemonium ensues here in Berkeley. Unbelievable scene. Look at the energy, the fans, the red shirts, the parents, everybody jumping into the pool to celebrate this one, Greg, here in Berkeley.
A truly unreal comeback for the Cow Bears. They trailed by four goals in the fourth quarter. They erased that lead, powered by seven goals from Nikolaus Papanikolaou, and then your game winner from Roberto Valera. Their defense has the final word. Everyone's into the drink here in Berkeley. And the Bears find a way to win their NCAA record 16th national championship and repeat as the best team in men's college water polo. What a scene here, what a game, what a comeback. We talked about game management, Greg. USC with the lead. 12-8 was the score at one point here in this game. And we go from 12-8 to a 13-12 final. A furious comeback from the Cal Bears, and they just keep adding to the storybook of this storied program. The celebration in the water, that man, a hero for this team. They wondered how could he top last year. It was his field block that secured the win against USC in Los Angeles to claim the title. In this one, it was his offense that powered this Bears team. And he'll sleep well tonight. A long day at the office for Papa Nicolau, but his seven goals, they carry this Cal squad to victory in a truly stunning final in the NCAA Men's Water Polo Championship.